It's your boy Picante Nino coming at you guys with another spicy video. Today we're going to be talking about how to PvE grind as an Awakened Zerker. So a lot of people say why don't you just grind with Succession Zerker? Well Succession Zerker is all cool but if you want to be a true gamer you're going to want to grind on Awakened Zerker. So let's jump into it. So let's just jump straight into it. Let's make this video kind of quick. So we're going to go over skill add-ons. So I'm going to put the skill add-ons on the screen right now. And these are the skill add-ons that I personally use. I'm pretty sure there are way better ones if you go on the Zerker Discord. i also link that down below. Um, but this is the way how I like to personally set up my skill add-ons because I use these skills a lot in my skill rotation. So if you use other skills more than these skills, Feel free to just tinker with them. This is not the exact way you should build it, but this is what I personally use and it works for me. So I take Frenzy Destroyer for that AP bonus, the ground lift, so I could sneak in some extra monster AP because it's always up. Devastation, that's one of your bread and butter skills. Seismic Blast is also one of your highest damaging skills in PvE, along with Slugfest and Scatter Shot. So I end up just putting a bunch of monster attack damage and a lot of back attack damage because those go over AP caps. So yeah, these are the skill add-ons I personally use. I spam ground lift for the extra monster AP buff and the rest is just gravy on top of extra damage. So next up, let's talk about crystals. Crystals are very important when it comes to PvE, especially with this new BDO update that changed the way how crystals work. You could have two different crystal builds or many presets of crystal builds, one specifically for PvE, for PvP, so take advantage of it. Take advantage of it because you're missing out on a lot of damage. I'm going to post my PvE crystal build right now. It is somewhat expensive because of the rebellious crystals, but you could obviously go cheaper builds, but the concept is still the same. That's why I left the skill effects up. So take it as you wish, you know, change it to how it fits you. But do not sleep on just running a full PvE crystal build. It is a lot of damage you're missing out on. Alright, next we're going to be going over skill enhancements. I know it's kind of weird to be going over skill enhancements whenever we're doing a PvE video. But I'm just going to warn you guys, don't pick Beyblade. If you're Beyblading as an Awakened Zerker in your PvE rotation, you are losing out on damage. No Beyblades, please. That is old school. Replace your Beyblade with Feral Stampede. That does a lot more damage, and if you get a back attacks with crits on it, it actually just one-shots packs. And also, take Frenzied Winds because it combos really well into Feral Stampede. Wailing Beast is a really good skill because it's just an extra heal if you need it, along with the super armor when you're grinding. So just take Feral Stampede over Beyblade. No Beyblades, please. Beyblades, you actually lose a lot of damage if you're Beyblading as an Awakened Zerker. Thank you for my TED Talk. With all that out of the way, let's talk about something very interesting that I think the game might actually patch out. But while it's still there, let's take advantage of it. If you meet AP caps anywhere where you're grinding, let's say you're grinding somewhere that's kind of like you're way over geared for. But you still want to grind faster, but you can't because of AP caps. This is where your good old friend Nesser comes in. You could you can grind places way faster with Nesser. And the way how you get a Nesser is if is if you go to Valencia City and you talk to Nesser and you give him 50 contribution. Don't quote me on this, but I think you have to finish the Valencia quest line in order for you to trade that contribution for that offhand. That offhand makes you grind places way faster if you already hit the AP caps. So whenever you're over the AP cap at any place, use Nesser. You could check to see if you have any AP caps, if you're over any AP caps at Garmoth.com. You could just do that little skill or AP calculator there to see if you're hitting the AP caps with Nessa or not. I'm also going to put on the screen how it compares to a level 7 Kudum. And honestly, like, why do we need pen Kudums now? Like, Nessa is crazy good. I worked my butt off to get that pen Kudum. 
and Nesser is like on par with it. It is so crazy. I don't know why it's like that, but just take advantage of it if it's still in the game. So now let's go into very critical skills that we need to know in order to grind. So I think the most critical skills you need to know if you're going to grind on Awakening Zerker is Buster Training, which is just your left click solely for the 20% attack speed. So you do that just by hitting left click and then you get the 20% attack speed. So that's all you need to do is just left click, want, want, left click, 20% attack speed. That's all you need to do. So in between all of your moves, you're you're canceling this into it. So while you're grinding in between downtimes, you're just getting two hits off so you can keep up your 20% attack speed. That allows you to grind way more faster and your skills come out more faster, which means the more DPS you are doing, and that means you're more efficient grinding. So make sure you're always, you know, stacking your buster training just by doing two left clicks. It's very fast, it shouldn't slow you down at all. Next one is Blasting. Blasting gives you a 15 or 16 AP buff for 10 seconds, and it also does a decent amount of damage. So what most Zerkers do is they like to combo Buster Training into a Blasting right after. So that's it. You get the two, you get the two buffs, 20% attack speed, 16 AP. So it goes very quick into another. That, that's one of the, the combos that Zerkers like to do, which is Buster Training into Blasting. Another thing too for the rotation for PVE is that we we like to do a ground lifting right after the bust. Uh, I mean the blasting, so we can get this uh, skill add-on effect, which is always monster AP. You always want this up because it's the easiest skill to cancel into out of your whole kit. So keep that monster AP up. So it's just usually your Buster training into a blasting into a ground lift. Buster training, blasting, ground lift. I kind of added one more skill. So it's Buster Training, Blasting, Ground Lift. Buster Training, Blasting, Ground Lift. After that, the most important skills that you want to just keep on spamming off of cooldown is a uh, Seismic Blast into Scatter Shot. These two skills do a buttload of damage. So the way how you want to do these two skills is that you do Seismic Blast first into a Scatter Shot because they cancel into each other that way very, very easily. And then you could also follow it up with a Titan Blow, which is really good damage. And then you could also throw in some split shots in between these two skills, a Seismic Blast and their Scatter Shots for extra quick damage. So the Titan Blow is not going to be up all the time. But if you do have the Titan Blow up, you're going to follow it with an Ancient Wave. So it's usually the combo, the PvE combo looks like this. So it's Buster Training. Two blastings to get that AP buff into a ground lift. Buster training, two blastings, ground lift into a seismic blast, which is down Q, into a shift F, which is a scatter shot, into a uh, titan blow, into an ancient wave. So there goes Buster training, blasting into a uh, seismic blast, into a scatter shot, into a titan blow, into an ancient wave. And then if all that's down, then you usually just do this. You do Frenzy Destroyer spams, and you also do Frenzied Winds. So let, let's see the full PvE combo in action. If you guys want to slow it down, this is what this is the combo, your bread and butter combo whenever you're grinding. And then you do a Slugfest in the end, and then you just do a, a, a Devastation. And then once that's done, do this, Ground Lift into that and then repeat ancient wave isn't up if i had more mana just keep on repeating it so yeah that's the pve combo it's just rotating those skills in order uh so yeah let me just redo it again just to clarify so You just repeat it with some variations. So 
so yeah, um, I would honestly be able to do that forever if I was actually hitting mobs and netting uh, MP or WP back. But that's just basically the simple PvE combo that you just keep on wanting to repeat. And there, there's a lot of variation to it, but the core of it is just, you know, Seismic Blast, Scattershot, uh, what is it, Titan Blow into a Slugfest, or a Ancient Wave, or a Devastation. And then in between it, you just throw in some Frenzy Destroyers or some Blast Teams. So it's it's very simple grind. I'm also going to play some Zerker clips of me just grinding random areas. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and hopefully that clears up a lot of the mi like mystery behind Awaken Zerker grind. It's actually really easy. It is a lot of effort compared to like Succession Zerker, but we are gamers. We are gamers. We don't play Succession Zerker. We are Awaken Zerker gamers. And hopefully with that, you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And thank you guys for like stopping by. I do stream on Fridays. And I would like to see you guys there. Honestly, it would mean a lot. I'm trying to start back up this channel from the dead. I want to start making more BDO content. And I do appreciate every single one of you guys that drop a subscribe. Or just drop by and just leave a like. And with that, you guys have a great rest of the day.